Welcome back to my apartment tour series. We have been to Celebration, Winter Garden and Windermere and today we are going to Horizon West. We're looking at three different apartments all 10 minutes away from Disney World and make sure you stay till the end because I saved the best for last. Let's check out the first apartment. The first apartments we're going to be looking at is Vintage in Horizons West. The apartments are fairly new and they had a spacious clubhouse. There's a lot of room to chill with friends or family. You can even come down here and work from home. They have a little office space with a coffee machine, a fridge and a sink. They have a spin studio, a cardio room and a gym which all looked really nice. Let's head out to the pool. So they have these little cabanas which I thought were really cool but then I realized it said available for rent. The agent said that you could rent these for $50 per day which I thought was a little bit strange because I had never seen it before. That is just my opinion but the pool looks lovely. I love the lounges in the water. That was one of my favorite things about this apartment complex. This is pretty cool and I've never seen it at an apartment before. Basically your guests will call you from this device and you can decide whether you want to unlock the door for them or not which is a nice security feature. I do want to add that we are looking in building one and this is the only building with this feature and also the only building with apartments that are enclosed with an indoor hallway. Here is the kitchen in the two bedroom apartment. I love how bright it feels. I like the white cabinets and they even had a little wine cooler, which was kind of nice. The fridge looks really big as well. And I love that little nook over there by the door. The washer and dryer open up right in the kitchen and they they are full sized. The living room is a decent size as well. I also like the light wood. And into the bedroom, we have carpet and a really big window, which is important to me because I just love the natural light. The bedroom felt a little smaller compared to others that we've looked at, but it was still really nice. And it goes right into the bathroom, which I loved these marble floors and also marble in the shower. For this closet being in the second bedroom, it was actually really big and had a lot of storage. Now let's go to the primary bedroom. It did feel a little bit bigger than the second bedroom. The bathroom was definitely a lot bigger. You have two sinks in here and a bathtub. There is so much counter space and a lot of cupboards. And I also love that there's two mirrors. So even if you're sharing with a partner, it really feels like you have your own space in this bathroom. There was a big closet in here as well. Not as big as the other one, but it also came with a linen closet. So you can put all of your towels in here which I love that, I need that. And it loops right back around into the kitchen. If you have seen my apartment tour videos before, you know that this is the section where we cover all of the fees and what it's gonna take to get into this apartment. But first, I wanted to say that they do have walkthroughs of each apartment on their website. So if you wanna check that out, they only showed us a two bedroom, but they still have a one and a three bedroom on the website. Also, the apartment complex itself is quite big. Here is what it looks like. So as I mentioned before, this was building one and this is the only building where you will get that extra security feature and have your hallways be inside instead of outside. I'm assuming for that reason, it's probably going to be more expensive. So a one bedroom in this complex starts at $1,951. Now for a two bedroom online, it said it was $2,400, but in person they told me $2,177. And of course prices change all the time today is April 17th 2024 but it was only a week ago that I saw the apartment and on the website it had already gone up like $250 the person who gave us a tour was the assistant manager and he said that he could get us a good deal like if we come back around when we're looking to move next year so I don't know maybe if you try to go in person if you have the chance they might give you a better deal and honestly all of these apartments are quite new so they always had a deal going on and I'll talk more about that as we get into the other apartments but normally it'll be like if you sign within 48 hours we will refund your admin fee and application fee so it just kind of depends 
what the offer is going on at that minute. Sometimes they even offer a few weeks of free rent. So you never know. Even if you are going to apply online after watching this video or any other videos, I would say give them a call and see if they have any offers going on because you never know. Now is the fun part where we will talk about all the fees included in this apartment. The application fee is $100 per person and the admin fee is $175. The security deposit is $750 which is likely to be refunded once you move out and it does depend on your credit so it could even go up from there and be as much as one month's rent and your income must be at least three times the rent. One pet is $350 and two pets is $650 there's my pet right now. <laughs> that was a good time to come in. And my cat's monthly rent will be $25 a month. Do you have $25 a month? Can you pay? You need to start paying rent. As for the additional fees, you will have to pay separately for water and electric. And then they bill you for cable, internet, trash, and pest control. And that's $94 a month, which compared to the next two apartments is actually much cheaper. So that's really not that bad. And you do have to have renter's insurance, which usually ends up being like $12 a month, but you can just pay that all in a lump sum. I think it would be like, what, $150 if you pay it all together. So that goes for any of these apartments. They do have storage units and single car garages available as well. Overall, it was a nice apartment. I did like the area. It was very quiet. All the amenities were really nice. I still can't get over that you have to like, to rent one of the cabanas. I don't know, maybe it's really not that big of a deal, but since it was my first time seeing that, I just thought that it was a little strange. Especially since some of the other apartments I've been to have cabanas similar to that and it's just like first come first serve. It might be fun if you're having a birthday party there or you're doing a barbecue just to like rent it out with friends. Maybe you can all split the cost or something but I don't know, just let it be free, you know? Let's check out the next apartment. Next, we are taking a look at the Braxton Waterlay Apartments. I love this clubhouse. I love the big windows that overlook the pool. There was so much space just to sit and chill and they have a little office area with a printer if you need one. And here is a little look at the gym. There was someone in there, so I didn't want to film them. But as we go outside, they have a ping pong table and I believe the pool is salt water. Here is one of their bigger two bedroom apartments this was 1306 square feet and i love the little area for the dining table and you can have like a mini bar over here as well the kitchen felt so spacious i love that it kind of curves round it makes it feel a lot bigger the living room did feel a little bit smaller but i think that the kitchen made up for it. The patio was a nice size and it was screened in. This is the primary bedroom which has wood if you are on the first floor otherwise it will be carpet. It goes straight into the bathroom and again I love a double sink. There's so much storage in here. There is a bathtub and a decently sized closet. There's me, hello. I definitely liked the first bathroom we saw more because of the marble and they do have a little linen closet in here as well. Walking through the kitchen, I like those shelves on the right by the way. This is going to be your washer and dryer which is near the front door. These two don't match so I don't know if they all look like that. But right behind us is going to be the bathroom for the second bedroom. This one is also a bathtub and I did like the big cupboard on the right hand side there and I thought you had enough counter space as well and it's nice because it goes straight into the bedroom so if you don't want people going through your bedroom to get to the toilet then you don't have to. There's a giant window for a lot of natural light which I love and then it goes into the closet. Braxton Waterlay. I don't really remember much of this apartment complex because it was probably like a 15 minute tour. So I was trying to think of the differences between this one and the first one, but honestly, they were so similar and they were literally two minutes within each other. Like we could have walked from one to the other. So that's what kind of confused me a little bit. They do have a lot of floor plans though. The one bedroom was $1,719 on the website and the two bedroom was $2,129 a month. I'm just trying to think of other things to say, but really they were so similar that it just comes down to kind of the price really. and which style you liked more, which I did prefer the style of the first one more, I think. 
and also this has some fees that are a little bit higher than the first one but the monthly rent is cheaper at Braxton so the application fee is $100 each and the admin fee is $250 and you must provide proof that you earn three times the rent so it says here that you'll need four pay stubs and your two most recent bank statements which I asked her about because I was kind of confused with the most recent bank statements, like you need to know how much is in my account. I thought that was a little weird because normally they just ask you for your last few pay stubs. I haven't moved apartments in a long time and in fact, this is my first one. So we didn't have to do that a few years ago. Maybe that's the thing that some of them do now, but I just thought that was kind of weird and I didn't really get like a straight answer from the agent that I was talking to, so I don't really know. However, she did say it was easy once you log onto the website, it'll tell you everything you need to do. And look who's here to tell us about the pet information. Do you want to share with the class? She said that I can do it. For one pet it is $350 with $30 per month and two pets it's $500 at $60 per month. So these monthly fees that include the same things as the first apartment are a lot higher and they are $180 which is almost double than the ones that we talked about earlier that are across the road. It comes with the same stuff and it's a lot so I'm just going to read it off this list but it has cable and internet, trash, pest control, it does have a trash compactor maintenance that you have to pay $7 a month for. $6 is the community fee and there is $25 for deposit insurance. I had to pause the video here because even Nobby doesn't like this. She's hiding. She looks really upset. And to install your key fob, it's a $25 one-time installment fee. So we have quite a few more fees at this apartment complex. I think when you add everything up, they will basically be the same price because yeah, you're paying double in the monthly fee, but the other apartment was more expensive. This one's cheaper. So when you add it up, it might be the same. Future me, can we add that up and see how much it would be? Now to the last apartment tour, my favorite of them all, the Overlook. I have saved my favorite of the three apartments for last and look how stunning it is here. Their clubhouse was so different from the first two that we saw. They have this little office area with the Disney Resort TV on in the background and look at how cool this looks. I don't know why, but it was just giving me Chicago vibes. They have a basketball hoop in the back and a shuffleboard table. Here was a little office space. They have some coffee and tea a few different cubes in the back if you want to do some work or if you have like meetings and stuff and are you ready for the coolest part they had a podcast studio you just have to rent this it doesn't cost anything extra you can use the equipment it's soundproof this was really cool they are definitely with the times <laughs> the gym looked really cool i liked that part of it had that fake grass as well the equipment is brand new they also have a pilates and spin studio this is the pool, it was salt water as well and it has my favorite little lounges just to sit and tan in. All of these apartments have indoor hallways with elevators and this is the first apartment. This is a one bedroom. This one has my heart and I don't know what it is, I just love the high ceilings. I love the finishes in the kitchen and for a one bedroom this is a really big kitchen. Here is the living room with a patio attached which is not screened in but some of them are screened in if you like. It was a really quiet area as well and then straight from the kitchen we'll go into the bedroom and this bedroom was huge. That is still a king bed and I just thought that it, there was so much space. The closet is a little bit smaller but I would take a smaller closet for a bigger bedroom definitely and then we'll go right into the bathroom which had these really cute shelves on the left hand side so there isn't like a bulky door in the way and you can kind of make it look cute like that. It has one sink but still a lot of counter space even in our one bedroom right now we don't have much counter space at all there was a lot of room between the toilet and the bathtub which apparently I pointed out and here's the bathtub with a shower and I do love that design on the back and right outside of the bathroom is the stacked washer and dryer which are a little bit smaller but this is common with one bedroom apartments now onto our two bedroom apartment again the kitchen just gets better it's so much bigger I love the overhead lighting that's in the ceiling because that is something you don't really see very often and here are the full size 
sized washer and dryer in the kitchen and then we'll turn around into the living room oh and there is another closet just here and then we turn around and there's a pantry which is one of the reasons why i loved this one i need all the storage i can get the view was giving resort without the extra price you can have a view of the pool which might be loud so i'm not really sure the living room was bigger on this one but the bedrooms were smaller this apartment was set up a little bit weird though because they said that the primary bedroom is this one and when you take a look at the bathroom it's a lot smaller and it only has one sink so the agent said that most people will swap and go into what is technically the second bedroom and leave the primary bedroom open for guests there's a standing shower and i do like the lights on the mirror itself that felt really nice so this is not the primary bedroom because the bedroom is smaller but it has two sinks in it so again most people will just swap and stay in this bedroom and you're not really giving up that much space at the end of the day so you can see we have two sinks and a bathtub and the closet is a little bit bigger as well so i'm not sure why they set it up like that but there we go wasn't that one so nice i don't know why i'm just obsessed with it i do think that it also heavily depends on who is showing you the apartment because the lady that was showing us this one she spent an hour with us she was really nice and friendly and she was trying to like get to know us so you could tell that they were kind of trained to like ask us questions about ourselves and she's like what do you guys like to do for fun and what do you do for work and I don't know it was just nice that she was trying to chat to us because um the other two I mean they were nice as well don't get me wrong but you can just see like the level of training that goes into it and I think that it really has an impact on which apartment you like more, but even aesthetically, this one was the best. Before we get into the fees, I will say that this apartment is right across from the Disney College program housing. So I think if you are either in college or you may be just finishing college, how old am I? I am 26. So I finished college shockingly four years ago. So I would say up until this point in my life, that I would have been okay living there, but it really does give a college vibe, which is great if you are in like your early 20s, I would say, because there's Target there, you have lots of restaurants and shops, and it is really nice, and it is all full of college kids because they're all across the road. I just feel like at this stage in my life, I don't want to be basically living on a college campus, <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and if you are younger, this is like the perfect spot to be, and you'll probably meet a lot of people because of that that is really the only thing that put me off of this was the location it's still 10 minutes away from Disney it was just not giving me that like homey type vibe that I wanted to feel like I said it was kind of like college campus besides that they did have a lot of floor plans that we could have looked at I didn't want to take up all of their time since we were there for an hour but she was really nice to basically say if you want to see them all then we can do that today too but we just looked at two of them they do have a studio which is $1,650 per month the one bedroom was $1,733 and the two bedroom is $2,178 this complex is probably the newest one that we looked at so they had the best deal if we applied within 48 hours we would get eight weeks of free rent which we can kind of like spread among the few months so it would basically take our monthly rent down like a certain amount or if you wanted you could just take the eight weeks for free and not have to worry about rent for that that time so if we moved in to building one and I don't know why I was just building one and not building two, so I don't know what's up with building one. But if we moved in to building one, we would get our admin and application fee waived. Plus, you get three months of cable and internet for free. So that was a pretty good deal. Like I said, make sure to call up these apartment complexes. Maybe they can offer you the same thing over the phone. Another thing that was different about this complex is that you only needed two times the rent to qualify, and that is gross, not net. The application fee is even cheaper here. It is $80 per person. The admin fee is $300 and the security deposit starts at $250, again, just depending on your credit. These monthly fees are a bit higher as well. It's $171 per month. Again, we have trash, pest control, cable, and internet. 
and then they added on a $25 concierge fee. I didn't ask what that was about. I probably should have. I can't really think what that would be about. Navi has gone somewhere, so I will have to share the pet information again. Another thing different about this apartment is that you can have three pets maximum. So the other two, you could only have two pets each, but this one, you can have three. It says that there's a $300 pet fee and it's $20 a month, but it doesn't say if that is per pet or not. And they have garages and storage units for you as well. Well, those are all of the apartments that I have to show you today. I hope this was helpful. As always, please let me know if you would like to see any other locations, any specific apartments. And don't forget to go and watch my other apartment tour videos. I will link them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!